What's up guys? Welcome back to a bit of a different video today. You might have noticed lately that uploads have been on the sparse side over the past few months. This hasn't been due to any lack of video topics or technical issues or anything. I just don't have nearly as much time as I used to. It's kind of a cruel irony. When I was doing this channel as a teenager, I had all the time I needed to execute any idea I could come up with but I never really had enough money to carry out most of them. Now, at 21 years old, I've got plenty of money to carry out most of my plans, but not really any time to. During my teenage years, I did something called detasseling corn. This required walking about 15 to 20 miles every day in the 85 to 100 degree summer heat. Nowadays, I do IT work for an automotive manufacturing plant. I sit all day in an air-conditioned building, and you'd think that by the end of the day of sitting all day long, I would be bursting with energy when I get home from doing nothing physical all day. But somehow it's the exact opposite. I could come home from working in a cornfield all day long, take a shower, and be ready to do pretty much anything, no matter how strenuous it was. But when I come home from work now, my mind feels drained. I'm just tired of even thinking, which doesn't do creativity any favors. This YouTube channel is something that I don't want to just fall by the wayside, so I sat down a few weeks ago to come up with a plan. And the plan is optimization. I have less time now, so I need to be able to make videos faster, but at the same level of quality. The first thing I'm doing is ditching the set. You see, while some YouTubers have the luxury of a set that's somewhere off in a room in their house they can just go to whenever they need to film something, I am not one of them. This set is actually in my bedroom. It's just some PVC piping and a tablecloth. But getting everything out, moving the coffee table, setting up the mic, making sure the mic's not in frame, adjusting the camera, closing the mini blinds, and more, all add up to take at least 30 minutes every time I go to shoot a roll like this. And nine times out of 10, I've got about a 15 minute window to do something, which just ends up going to waste. I've got to thinking, and I've got this loft bed, so I tried hanging my filming light from it, and it actually shines right on my desk and bounces off my white closet door. So it turned out to be the perfect spot. I can leave the light here all the time, where it's up and out of the way, and it can be set up all the time. And that eliminates a large part of the setup. All I basically have to do is pop the light stand up, plug in the microphone, and we can start doing this. Um, I do have some ideas for this set, maybe some lighting or colored backgrounds or something back here. I'd like to spruce it up a little bit, but for now, this will do. And in my opinion, it actually looks a little bit better. The second thing is optimizing equipment. Since this channel started, I have been using this ancient, slow, SD card reader that can only transfer files at about five megabytes per second on a good day. It takes about 20 minutes to copy one video's worth of footage to this 5400 RPM, 500 gigabyte portable hard drive. Editing off this hard drive slows everything down and I didn't realize how much until I tried editing off my ThinkPad's built-in SSD and it was so much faster than my Mac Pro with the hard drive despite having a less powerful processor. I've now picked up this much faster Sony SD card reader and this SanDisk portable SSD to edit off of, and both have been working great so far. I can dump about a video's worth of footage off my SD card in roughly 60 seconds now. These two changes alone have made it way easier to weasel in creating a video to my schedule, which will lead to more videos being made. Realistically, I still may, or probably, won't have video every single week, but I should be able to hit every other week at least. And as for making my videos better, I've been watching a lot of other YouTubers recently and kind of taking notes on how they make their videos to get some ideas. And so far I've identified three areas that I think could maybe stand to have some improvement on. Number one is more shorter clips. My videos tend to have fewer, longer clips for no reason other than it's easier to shoot and edit. This has the downside of sometimes making videos a little boring after a few minutes, which my average watch time does confirm. Obviously, there are some subjects that this quicker shot format won't work for, but on most of my videos, it should make things a little more interesting going forward. Next is the audio. While audio has come a long way since my first video, all my videos kind of have the same format of just me talking over background music. 
It's pretty rare that my videos ever have sound effects, like crumpling wrapping if I'm doing an unboxing, for example. And going forward, I'm gonna to try to pay more attention to recording those sounds and adding them to the videos, just again, to make things a little more interesting. And the last area is color grading. My color grading has kind of been all over the place in the last year or so, but I'd like to have a very consistent look to the color of my videos, both scene to scene and video to video. To do this, I'm actually ditching using log footage entirely and going straight to a custom tweaked version of Fuji's Astia film simulation in my Fujifilm X-H1. It's what you're looking at right now, and I really like it. I went on a camping trip recently and took a whole bunch of home video style test footage to build this look, and I'm really satisfied with the way it turned out. I've also thought about maybe trying some more whimsical things, like adding a movie quote into each of my videos and seeing if anyone can guess what the quote's from. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the changes that have been made. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me throughout the years. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.